Okay, everyone. Welcome to Kinos Torah, Polish voice Kinos Torah. So, just uh, two words on on Kinos Torah. Now, the first is the Chabad custom, as you're seeing here, is the Kinos Torah, the Polish Shavuos Kinos Torah. In many communities, um, the custom is learning the night of Shavuos, and in Chabad, the custom is not to learn the night of Shavuos, but actually to read the Tikkun. And the Tikkun, as you may have noticed if you looked at the text, Shavuos night, is essentially uh, passages from all over Torah. One little passage from each parsha, and then from the Vim and Ksuvim, and from Mishnayis, Zoyar, <clears throat> and so on. And uh, it's very difficult to understand what you're learning because it's just snippets and pieces. And that's kind of the point. The point is to connect to the words of Torah. In the very appreciation that Hashem gave them, it's even not necessarily my appreciation is how I understand it, but the appreciation that it's been given. So the focus then, the night of Shavuos and Chabad, is if the words of Torah to acknowledge Hashem gave the Torah, I appreciate it more or less is not so relevant to the fact that God gave the Torah, and therefore the focus is on reading the words. But once Shavuos is over, now it's time to unpack the gift. And the way we unpack the gift is by starting to learn and appreciate. So that's where this idea of the Kinnus Torah comes from post Post Yom Tov in general and post Shavuos specifically. Now, when it comes to a gathering of Torah, different or Kinnis Torah, different than an ordinary shear or class, um, at a Kinnis Torah, as tonight, we hear different ideas from different people, from people who pay, are paid professionally to learn Torah, from people who are not paid professionally to learn Torah. And the idea is that it isn't just um, Torah learning in the classic shear sense classic, uh, just giving a class or a lecture, but in the sense of uh, a culture of learning, a culture of learning in which everybody's engaged on a more academic, less academic level, but everybody's engaged, whether it's, this is their job or not their job, but everybody's involved in learning because it's a learning culture. I was having this conversation with someone today and um, people talk about Jewish culture and the importance of preserving Jewish culture. Here in Montreal, Baruch Hashem, where we have uh, a, an eclectic and a diverse community of Jewish people, we can really look at this and say, what, what do you mean by Jewish culture? Do you mean gefilte fish or do you mean matbucha? Do you mean uh, Yiddish or do you mean Ladino? What exactly do you mean by Jewish culture? Like, we, have, we have a smorgasbord board of Hungarian Jewish culture, Russian Jewish culture, and Moroccan Jewish culture. So what exactly do you mean? And the, and the one... And only part of Jewish culture, if you want to call it that, that transcends language, tra transcends geography, is Torah. Doesn't matter which continent or country we or language or food we come from, as Jews, we're all connected to Torah. And that's the idea of Kinnus Torah, a Torah conference that isn't just a regular class, but creates a community culture of learning. And post Shavuos is the most opportune time to do that. So we're going to go in order of this actually works out alphabetical order of last names. Levi, Nu, Slavi. So it works out alphabetically. And the mayor is a Kayan. So it works out well that way too. So with that, Jeremy, please.